Hello, welcome to another video. So this is a spring blue set and my spring blue is Glam and Glitz Strut and I'm just coming in on a little finger now making sure that the colour is nice opaque around the cuticle area. I have, as you can see, already sculpted my clear base. Um, this nail is going to have some glitter on the tip so I'm just making sure that it's opaque around the cuticle area more than on the tip of the nail. The glitter that I'm using is an angel's glitter and it's called Spring Blue. I will leave a link in the description. And I'm coming on to my ring finger. And this one is going to be an ombre. So I'm just putting the colour at the tip and not going to put anything around the cuticle area because I am going to put some um, glitter bells, uh, pink opal, around the cuticle area and blend that down. So the next two nails are full coverage nails and I want to make sure that I have a nice even coverage of the colour across the nails to showcase that colour really well and to make sure that I have um, the best appearance for my client and I do apologise, I keep hitting the camera with the end of my brush as I can't seem to get a position for my camera that um, showcases the work well enough. That's far enough away for me to not hit it. a bit more strut on that index finger just because it's going to have the decal on it and I also repeated the same step on the thumb and now it's time for my ombre and I'm using glitter bells pink opal to blend that down over the strut start in the middle and then I'm going to do my cuticle area and then when I've done that and it's set I am going to put my ghosting layer back over the top just to make sure that I've got a nice even ombre So now I'm coming to encapsulate my glitter and I take a wet bead of clear acrylic and dip it into the pot of glitter and then I work with it onto the nail and working wetter is better. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> wetter is better uh, because um, it makes that glitter more manoeuvrable. Uh, the only problem with that is obviously there's not that much acrylic to hold it in place. And it needs to be encapsulated to keep the glitter where you want it to be on the nail. So once you're happy with it, then you come in with a very wet, clear bead of acrylic just to seal that glitter in place. Um, and I find it helps before you encapsulate, uh, build your apex even, um, and just to keep that glitter in place. Because sometimes I haven't done that, I've forgotten. And then I go to encapsulate and some of that top layer of glitter isn't um, adhered and it all messes up the uh, encapsulation, it looks horrific. So always remember a thin wet bead of clear acrylic to seal that glitter in place. Um, I'm repeating the same process on this middle nail using a bigger brush because I've got a bigger surface area to cover. And then again, I will seal it with some clear acrylic when I'm happy. I'm making sure that I am smoothing that glitter as much as possible, uh, getting those like uh, flakes as you know, flat to the nail bed as possible as I want to make sure that 
I am uh, getting rid of as much bulk as possible. Not that you can tell, because I just knocked the camera again. So I'm coming in now and um, capping in clear and also creating my structure. This is Glitterbell's glass slippers. It's what I use to sculpt the clear base as well. Um, on this nail, I am only covering the blend as I have created the structure out of pink opal as it is a core powder, as opposed to the strut, which is a design powder. And I'm just gonna do a very thin layer over the glitter nail just to make sure that it is stable um, but I don't need to create much of an apex as I've already done that using the glitter and everything else um, yep so I'm just gonna do that on all of the other nails Now I've capped and everything set and I've failed to shape, I'm putting on my finishing touches. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm adding some crystals. I am using Kiara Sky Dip Essentials Base to adhere the crystals to the nail. Uh, these crystals on the little finger are to mimic the uh, headband on Jasmine. So I've gone for a dark blue Swarovski um, crystal in the middle. It's uh, well, it's not dark blue, it's an, an, an aurora, bore, aurora borealis. I can't say that without sounding like a posh person. Um, aurora borealis blue crystal. Um, and then I'm going to use some opal blue opal crystals um, to match the headband. have a little look now um they go they kind of match a bit all right so moving on to the decal now first thing i'm doing is i'm cutting that decal out as close to the image as possible and then i'm going to put it into a bowl of water to soak and while it's soaking i am going to base coat my client's finger with a gel base coat put that into the lamp to cure Okay, so now that's cured, um, I'm just pushing the decal into the water using some tweezers to pull it off its backing paper, placing it onto um, the kitchen roll and blotting it dry. Once I'm happy with it, I'm then going to position it onto the nail and then press it into shape and smooth it down with my fingers. And once I'm happy with the position, then I will top coat. Um, I did try using top coat over the top of this decal uh, this time round. I have since decided that these decals look nicer and are smoother if you use um, clear acrylic to encapsulate. However, this is a method that you can use when um, you don't work with acrylic. So you would just then encapsulate it with your top coat. And then I'm just adding the finishing touches for the stamping. And once I've done that, and then I will then top coat the rest of the nails. out 
your top coating it is important to make sure that you've sealed in those crystals as that's going to help them to stay on the nail long term gone a bit out of focus here guys sorry but yeah i do love a good top coat video anyway so here you can see it all looking nice and shiny and lush already top coated jasmine as you can see so i'm just going to include um a video of how i seal in my bigger crystals so the first thing that i do is i seal around the edges of the outside edges of the crystals with the brush that comes with the top coat and then i take a fine liner detailer um you know you use for uh, when you paint with your gel polish and i seal around the edges that are up at the top and then I will also seal sorry I keep knocking the camera because this brush is even longer I seal around and inside um, any of the crystal designs and then I'm going to place it into the lamp to cure okay so here's the finished product thank you for watching I hope you're inspired by these gorgeous decals and I will leave a link to all of the products used in the description box below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe. Bye!